Hey guys, I'm still unemployed, so let's solve another leak code problem today. Leak code 2, add two numbers together. So just like the problem says, all we're really doing is adding two numbers together, right? So like this example, 342, 465, add them together, right? That's 807. Well, you probably remember from elementary school how to add two numbers together, right? So that's the number one th thing to know about this problem, right? So we're adding 342 and 465. So do you remember how to add two numbers together from elementary school? You probably do, but you might think you don't. So let's just look at this, right? Two plus five, that's seven. Four plus six, that's 10, but that's a two digit number, right? So we gotta take a carry for that. So we'll put a zero here, but we know we have a carry, so we're gonna have to put that one over here, right? So now we have one plus three plus four. That's eight. So we just did it, right? That was the result, 807. So you do probably remember how to add two numbers together. That's really the main part of this problem. Now, the second thing to recognize though of this problem is that there's a lot of edge cases. That's kind of why there's a lot of dislikes in this problem, you can tell over here. But so there's gonna be a lot of edge cases and we're gonna really talk about those edge cases and focus on them. So the first thing they tell us is we're given two non-empty linked lists, right? So these linked lists are representing the integers that we're adding together. So they're non-empty. What does that mean for us? That means if we're adding two numbers, right? Like uh, 500 plus something else, right? This second number, it can't be empty. There's always gonna be some number here, right? So like eight, for example, something like that. It's never gonna be empty. Uh, the other thing is that they're non-negative integers. That's really convenient for us because these are linked lists, remember? Uh, so having a negative number would kind of be inconvenient, so good thing we don't have to worry about that. The other thing is the digits are stored in reverse order. Now, let's not worry about this too much yet. So for example, we see 342 down here and 465, right? In the linked lists, they're stored in reverse order. So 342 is actually 243. Uh, 465 is actually 564. So we'll see, we'll see later that having them in reverse order actually helps us. And so we want to add these two numbers and return it as a linked list. So for each digit, we're going to have to create a separate node. So we, we, we'll keep that in mind. So let's look at a slightly modified example. In the, in the example given, both the numbers had the exact same number of digits, right? So there were three digits in each, but we're looking at it slightly different. We added one more digit to uh, one of the numbers because this is kind of a case that you have to consider. So the first thing we're gonna do is obvious, right? We're just adding two numbers together. So we're gonna go iterate through them, right? So five plus two, that's gonna be seven, right? That's our first node. And notice that we're starting at the ones place, right? Because that's how you add numbers. And since the lists, these linked lists are given to us in reverse order, it makes it really easy for us to start at the ones place. That's how you add two numbers together. So they really made it easy for us. Uh, so next, we're just gonna basically keep doing that, right? So now we're gonna get to the next two numbers, add them together. That's gonna be 10. So we're gonna remember uh, that we have to put a carry. So we'll have a zero here and we'll make sure to remember we have a carry. So now we're gonna do one plus four plus three, that's eight. Now we no longer have a carry, so the carry's gone. And now we get to a weird place, right? There's nothing here. So we only have one node, right? So what are we gonna say is up here? Well, we can just kind of uh, assume that it's a zero, right? So there's not actually any value, but we'll assume that there's a zero here. So zero plus three, that's gonna be three. And in this case, this is gonna be our result. So we just considered one edge case of what if the two linked lists that we're adding together are of different sizes, right? So we kind of know what we can do in that case. Now, there's one last edge case that's kind of tricky. I seem to never remember it when I'm solving this problem, but maybe you'll be able to catch it. So let's say we were adding seven plus eight together, right? Now, when you add it together with addition, right, it's pretty obvious. Uh, let me rewrite it. So 
we know it's 15, right? So we're going to put a 5 here, but we have a carry. So the carry is going to go here, right? But there's no other number that we're adding here, right? We, we know we can just put the 1 here. But when you're solving this algorithm, you might forget to do that because with a linked list, 7 plus 8, you add these together, you get a 5, right? That's our result. And you'll put the carry here. You'll say, yeah, there's a carry of 1, but... In our algorithm, we have to make sure to remember to put the one in our result, right? Even if there aren't any uh, nodes here, right? Like there aren't any input nodes that we're adding it with. So with all of that in mind, let's actually get into the code and it'll probably make even more sense. So the first thing we want to do is we know we're creating a resulting linked list. So I like to just put a dummy node to not have to deal with any of the edge cases of inserting into a linked list. And our current pointer is going to point at the position that we're going to be inserting a new node or the new digit into. So we're going to iterate through these nodes. Now, how long are we going to be iterating through them while either of them has a digit? So while L1 or L2 is non-null, we're going to be adding them together. Now, we know one of them could be null, so we're going to get the digits from them. V1 is going to be the digit of list1 only if L1 is non-null. If L1 is null though, we're gonna set it to zero, right? Just like we did in our visual example. We're gonna do the exact same thing for V2. Now we actually want to add them together, but hold on, remember we had a carry that we have to maintain. So I'm gonna have a carry value and initially set it to zero outside of our loop. So carry is initially zero. So now we're gonna compute the new digit. So how do we do that? Well, we'll say V1 plus V2 plus carry, right? This is elementary school mathematics. But now we could potentially have a new carry, right? So if our number that we just computed, for example, what if it's 15, right? So that's uh, a two digit number. So we're, we wanna get the carry out of that. So how do we get it? Uh, we can just say value divided by 10. Also, since our value could be greater than 10, right, right like 15, we want only the, the ones place digit. So we're gonna take our value and mod it by 10. So that'll give us the ones place. So now that we have the digit, we can finally insert it into our list. So we're gonna say current.next. We're gonna insert a new list node with the value that we just computed. So now we're gonna be uh, updating our pointers. So we have to update current. So we're gonna set current to the next pointer. We're gonna update our list one and list two pointers if they are non-null. So L1 is gonna be L1.next if L1 is non-null, else we can leave it as null. Right, you might you might say, okay, now we're done. We're just gonna return uh, dummy.next, right? So we're gonna return the list that we just created. But remember that edge case that we talked about, right? What if we had eight plus seven? Uh, our loop is, is gonna stop and we're gonna forget about the carry. So uh, over here, I'm gonna add one last thing to our condition while our loop is going. If our carry is non-null, we want to continue the loop, meaning if our carry, for example, eight plus seven, L1 and L2 are gonna be null, meaning V1 and V2 are gonna evaluate to zero, but our carry is gonna be one, right? So we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna insert a value of zero plus zero plus one because our carry is one. And then of course our list is gonna need to have that value in it. So don't forget about the edge cases. That's really what makes this problem annoying. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.